Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you guys doing today? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And you know, Moon Knight is one that a lot of people are really looking forward to. When it was announced at D23 that we were going to be getting a Moon Knight series, I, I want to say that kind of overtook the conversation a bit, right? Everyone's like, ooh, what if looks interesting. Oh, wow, WandaVision's going to be bonkers. And it's like Moon Knight. Everyone's like, ah, who's going to play Mike Spector? Or Mark Spector. Who's going to play Mark Spector? Is it going to be Keanu? Because that's been a thing. People have been really wanting Keanu to pop up. Although I don't think it's going to happen in regards to a D-plus series, but you never really know. However, we've got a little bit of a scoop here. There's a, there's a little bit of a scoop that's come up, and it's from Mikey Sutton. He may hate me using this image. This is his Facebook profile image, so it's on you, bro. But uh, Mikey Sutton here has is, is got a scoop. And he, and he posted about it tonight on the Facebook page. That's uh, a long scoop. And I, I, I wanted to, 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 to 100% break it down to the best of my ability, uh, at least with what he's talking here, what I take away from it, and do a bit to explain just who Moon Knight is. So first up, it says this. Let's get this out of the way. It should be obvious that being on Disney Plus, the series will definitely not be rated R. I'm a tad puzzled by some fans disappointed in that because having read the entire Doug Mensch, uh, Bill Seikenwint's iconic Moon Knight run of the early 80s, I never bought, I never thought of MK as some kind of brutally violent hero, all of the Punisher or Wolverine, but he hasn't kept up with it. Now, I don't know how, I've never read a Moon Knight comic, so I don't know. So I'm learning this as I go along in order to get hyped for the show. So I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at just who Moon Knight is. So according to the Marvel Wikia, Mark Spector was born in the United States, the son of a rabbi who was a child who'd managed to escape Nazi prosecution after Hitler invaded Czechoslovakia. Mark grew up on the poor side of Chicago, where his father Elias was the target of discrimination. Mark couldn't understand why his father would never fight back. During the last years of his childhood, Mark discovered by chance that a close friend of his family, Rabbi Yitz Perlman, was in reality a Nazi deserter and secretly a serial killer of Jews. Mark's fighting instinct kicked off for the first time when he fended off Perlman to escape his grasp. Perlman later disappeared without a trace. This traumatic event uh, also caused Mark to develop disassociative identity disorder. The first personalities developed by him were Stephen Grant and Jake Lockley. Shortly before Elias decided to intern Mark at the Putnam Psychiatric Hospital, Mark was approached for the first time by the Egyptian deity Khonshu. Claiming to be Mark's true progenitor, Mark was allowed to leave to temporary sit Shiva after Elias's death, but ran away after attending his funeral enthralled by Khonshu's voice. Uh, and so, yeah, that's kind of the introduction to who Moon Knight is. There's a lot more there. He became, uh, you know, he was um, a mercenary and a lot of other crazy things happened, but we're going to get into that. So moving on with the post, it says, when I inquired about MK a few weeks ago, they still had no showrunner, no actor for MK that may have changed since. What I do know is that this is the MCU's version of the Dark Knight with weird mystical stuff. In other words, they are planning on showing Kong Chu and delving into the freaky Egyptian aspect of the character. Given that it's on Disney+, Plus, this will receive the Feige red carpet treatment. This will not be the street-level Marvel and Netflix with a Sundance movie budget. They want Moon Knight on buildings in this flowing cape and all. When MK was originally going to be on Iron Fist, replaced by Typhoid Mary, with suspiciously MK as schizo behavior and dialogue, it was more focused on the ex-military and mercenary angle. Some of what we'll find is on its way here, but let's turn and face the strange. So before we jump into the strange, let's uh, let's, let's talk about uh, Khonshu here. So this is going to be who gives Moon Knight his powers, right? So, you know, we do the cosmic stuff. Now we're getting into the weird stuff. We had a little bit of Dormammu, you know, on the, on the astral plane side of things. Now we're into Egyptian gods and stuff. Marvel is going to go full cray. Now Khonshu is the son of Atum and of uh, Amunet the air goddess of the Ogodot, o Ogdod Pantheon. Another account stated by Khonshu was in fact the adopted son of Amun-Ra. Now, he helped Mark overcome many obstacles as Moon Knight, but over the years, Mark went completely insane and disappeared. He later returned to continue his fight, despite his tenuous grip on reality. But after a while, Khonshu seemingly sent Mark and his allies to an illusory uh, mental hospital. That just means like an illusion, not real. Uh, designed to wear away the last of Mark's mind, thus freeing his body for Khonshu to inhabit and use to enter our world. However, in reality, it was all an imaginary scenario used to cure Mark of his insanity. In it, Mark had a confrontation with his alternate personas and realized 
that to become whole again, he couldn't just ignore them, but had to embrace them. After returning to the hospital, he crushed uh, Conchu's head and reconciled his illness, gaining control of, over his other personalities once and for all. And the thing with that, though, is it kind of feels like fourth wall breaking a bit, but just talking to other personalities. And I'm really wondering how that's going to play into this. Oftentimes, DID on a show like this or a series like this or something that's going to be on a big budget thing. It doesn't I don't know if it, if it necessarily translates. I'm, I'm being honest. I don't know if that necessarily translates to the general audience. But that being said, uh, I, I'm going to think they're going to find a way to make it to work. Um, but, uh, anyway, talking about, uh, typhoid Mary, this is what came up from, um, M Raven Metzer, who is the, uh, was the showrunner of iron fist season two before it was canceled. And the, uh, the, the question about typhoid Mary or came up with the question about Mo uh, moon Knight came up. So he says moon Knight came up many times in the writer's room as we discussed typhoid Mary, to which case Jeremy Conrad responded discussed as in using him in the season or just in general. And he responds in general, as he is a Marvel character who suffers from DID. So even though Mikey here says that ultimately they were looking, they wanted to use him, but they replaced him with typhoid Mary. I don't know. It could be, I mean, obviously typhoid Mary was the, the villain. And I always thought that was kind of a weird villain. If I'm being honest with you, moon Knight would have been more interesting overall, but would it have been like a backdoor pilot to giving moon Knight a show? And was that ever up for discussion with the Netflix stuff? I guess we'll never really know. However, Mikey goes on to say, uh, Dr. Strange, more like Dormammu, who's being discussed to appear here in association with the villainous Bushman. Other bad guys and girls plan to appear are Morpheus and the stained glass Scarlet. As for the rumored werewolf by night, maybe, but I was first told he's all set to join the spirits of vengeance on Hulu. So we'll see. It's early. A showrunner can tweak a number of these things. And if you're still reluctant to see it because it's PG 13, just wait, uh, or he will wait until you give yourself to him, which is re a reference to Khonshu. Uh, so, I mean, the, okay. So obviously the reference of Dormammu popped up there. So we know about Dormammu from Dr. Strange. We know that there's going to be Dr. Strange, the multiverse, multiverse of madness. Is this in any way going to tie together? I mean, I don't know, but it kind of feels like they're really starting to kind of bring all this stuff together. Then we learn more about Bushman. And this is kind of like Moon Knight's kingpin, kind of. This is his like arch nemesis, basically, from what I've been reading. And just to summarize who he is, and this in, in no way, I think, gives a full 100% uh, representation of, of who he is. But just, just listen to this. Bushman worked as a mercenary in Africa. Bushman, alongside Mark Spector and Frenchie Ducamp, and his men came upon Dr. Peter uh, Alruin, uh, and his daughter Marlene in order to steal the Egyptian gold he had discovered. When Bushman killed the archaeologist uh, to find an Egyptian pharaoh's tomb, Spectre punched Bushman to protect uh, Marlene. Furious Bushman mortally wounded him in the desert, killing everyone in the place except for Marlene, Frenchie, and a villager willing to tell him the secrets of the tomb. While lying near death, Spectre encountered the spirit of Khonshu and adopted the identity of Mood Knight. In this new guise, Spectre defeated Bushman. And it really does go on from there. I mean, every time it comes close for uh, Moon Knight to defeat Bushman, he he literally comes back. And the connection to Dormammu there uh, is going to be, uh, and this is this is in the comics. Norman Osborn contacts Dormammu, like or Norman Osborn through the hood contacts Dormammu in order to resurrect Bushman. So Bushman can continue fighting against Moon Knight. I'm not kidding you. Like that's how weird it gets in some aspects of it. And we sense the Marvel Sony deal for right now is, is up in the air, right? Quote unquote doors closed for the moment. We don't quite know where things are going to go, but Dormammu is going to clearly play a part in this, which tells me that the season one finale of the show is going to be with Bushman dying and then Dormammu being summoned in order to resurrect him. Like I said, this show is going to go crazy. I think it's going to fall in, in, in like the vein of Dr. Strange and try to tell that particular scenario. I don't quite know. But what I do know is I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear your opinions. Are you more excited for New Moon Knight or are you kind of like me and you're still kind of a little bit confused by it all? Now, keep in mind, all of this is speculative. All of this is a rumor. Mikey's got a good track record, but we don't know what we're going to find. But I still want to hear your thoughts. And if you really want to let me know, come over here to facebook.com forward slash groups 
forward slash three buck theater. Look forward to your conversations on there. Also, you can join me on my Hollywood After Dark podcast, which is going to be uh, uh, airing during the week. So keep an eye out for that. And if you really like me and if you really love me, come over here to patreon.com forward slash Matt Jarbo. Become a patron today. Really help the channel out. YouTube is doing its, you know, it's doing its stuff again, which is only going to hurt creators. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's a mess. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's something you may want to do if you want to help out. And uh, if you don't, that's great, too. But I just hope you guys give it a like. I hope you guys comment below. Have yourself a great day and peace out.